Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's Saturday, which means it is way day. I've been to group and it's now 7 p.m. So I've just got home, I've had a nice day with my sister, my mum and my niece, and then we went to my mum and dad's and then just chilled out with my dad and my sister's partner and stuff. So Rob is on an away game, so I'm just waiting for him to get home. So I thought I'd start off by telling you what I had to eat this week. I was only in work on Monday, but I really wanted to stick to plan and get a loss this week, especially after my four pound gain last week. So if I'm looking down, that's because I'm looking at my iPad and I'm just talking you through all the food that I've had this week to give you an idea of how I have tried my best to basically stick to plan whilst not being at work. So on Sunday, I got up and I just had a couple of oranges for my breakfast and then we went out for lunch. So we went to a place that I really, really like and I had a jacket potato. So Rob went and ordered it and I had beans with cheese in a pot on the side so that it's not completely swarmed in it. And he forgot to ask for no coleslaw. So when it came, I made a conscious effort of moving that coleslaw straight off my plate and not having any of it just because... Let's face it, coleslaw is full of whatever it is, mayo or whatever. And although it tastes really nice, it is full of sins. So I stuck to plan for that meal. And then for tea, we did homemade burger. So that was really, really nice. And I served that with chips and salad. And then at night, I just had a skinny whip and some popcorn. And then Monday came and I was at work that day. So I'd done some lemon oat muffins for my breakfast with some strawberries and raspberries and then I had done my lunch and I'd done a really nice sandwich and I was taking some soup as well and I had a meeting in the morning uh got to work and I said to my friend where is my lunch so I looked in my car boot and he wasn't there and I thought that's strange anyway I'd only gone and left it on the side at home hadn't I so I thought, right, what do I do? So I went and got a Subway salad. And do you know what? I really, really enjoyed it because I've not had one for a while. So I got double chicken teriyaki and I got it with all the salad and some sweet onion sauce and it was lovely. And then for tea, we did a gammon roast, which is lovely as well. And then I finished the day with a skinny whip and a Maltese bunny. And then Tuesday came. So I did the cake in a mug for my breakfast and I served it with speedy fruit and some chock shot and then a little bit of yogurt. And then I went to Nando's for my lunch. So again, I stuck to plan. I got the skinless chicken with spicy rice and salad. I then had the Morrison's Melt in the Middle fish cakes for tea and a skinny crunch bar to finish the day. On Wednesday, it was my mum's birthday. So we were going out for lunch. And for breakfast on the way, I just had a hi-fi bar and some raspberries. And then we went to an all-you-can-eat buffet, so I just chose as best I could. They had some meat that you could carve, so I had some of that. It was pork, and I just took any fat off it. I had rice, I had salad, gherkins. I had a little bit of the chicken in black bean sauce, which was really, really nice. And then I had this pork one, which was lovely. Then I finished that off with melon for my dessert and loads of orange segments. And they were lovely. I actually went back and got loads more. And then for tea, I came home and I did the Marks and Spencer's sausages with some chips that I weighed out, which are like the lower ones that you put in the oven. And I think the McCain's. Uh, so I weighed them out and sinned them for two sins. Mushy peas and gravy. And then I finished the day with a mint hi-fi bar and a muller corner. I'm really liking those muller corners. And then on Thursday for breakfast, I just had scrambled egg, which was using three eggs. And we went out again. So I had the jacket potato with beans. I asked for cheese on the side and salad. And then the cheese came and it was lovely, but I just literally sprinkled a bit on and left the rest of it. And then for tea, I had a chicken kebab from the local takeaway. And I chucked the pitta that they gave me and I had it with a bee free pitta because I know that that is a healthy extra bee. And then I finished the day with a skinny whip. And then on Friday, I just had a couple of oranges for my breakfast. And then for my lunch, I did chicken tikka with salad in a beef-free pitta. And I had a little bit of salad cream, some raspberries and half tin jelly. And then for my tea, I tried the calizone, which was really, really nice. I got it off an Instagram account. And basically, it was a three-egg omelette with some parsley in, so I fried that off. And then I filled it with chicken, mushrooms and onions. And then I folded it over, topped it with tomato puree and part of my healthy x-ray of cheese, 
put it in the oven for 10 minutes and it was lovely. I served it with beans. And then for supper, I finished off my week with another Muller corner, which was a strawberry one for five and a half sins and a three sin Malteser bunny. So that is my week. And yeah, it's been good on plan in the best possible way. And I really, really wanted a loss because I gained four last week. I did deserve that, don't get me wrong. But I wanted to get some sort of loss this week. So I went to group and I was really pleased because I lost two pounds. So I am back to seven stone, one loss, and I'm weighing in at 13 stone eight. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So this week I have done my food shop, but we tried Lidl. So we had a £10 off voucher, which was in the Sun newspaper. And it was £10 off when you spend 40 So me and Rob went on Thursday night because that was the last chance to use the voucher. Went round, got everything we needed. And we spent £46, but Rob did get a tool for work, which was £10. So in the end, with the £10 off, it was 36 So 26 for the food, 10 for Rob's tool or whatever he bought. So... I'm chuffed with that. I'm really, really pleased with that because I've tallied up that I've et out six times this week and I've had the motivation and willpower to stick to plan and make good choices, basically. So it just shows that you can still follow Slimming World and enjoy yourself and go out. You really, really can. So one thing to mention is my giveaway ends on Friday the 19th which is less than a week away. So don't forget to enter that if you would like to win the goodies, including the pinch of non book. And I guess this week, I am just gonna have another good week on plan and see what happens when I weigh in next Saturday. So that is the plan. So please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching, bye.